This is where I love sharing everything homeschool and mom life. In today's video, I'm reflecting on my curriculum choices for the 2023-2024 school year when it comes to arts and music. I'm going through all of the different subjects and I'm reflecting and reviewing the videos that I posted last year on what I chose for curriculum and letting you know whether we use them, whether we like them, whether we didn't, and really how our year went. I will link to a playlist that will include all of the reflection videos as well as a general hit and miss video on that on that playlist. And if you click into the description on that, you will also find a playlist that was a collaboration with a bunch of homeschool moms going over our overall hits and misses for the school year. So let's get started. The first thing is piano. We recently got a piano in the past year, which we absolutely love and we have been using pretty much organically. One of the things that we like to use is I buy sheet music from Sheet Music Direct, and you can purchase a song for like $2.99, and I get the Easy Play, I don't know if you can see. With the Easy Play, it has the letters of the notes on it. You know, the Easy Play sheets. We still love the Easy Play sheets, we still use them. Probably not as often as we'd like. Overall piano, we didn't do quite as often as we'd like. Yeah, I believe it's called Hoffman Online. And what it is, is it's online piano lessons. There's also music theory. I believe they also have like downloadable like worksheets that you can use and paperwork that goes along with it, as well as the videos for learning the piano. So I plan on doing that. The Hoffman, I did buy the first unit for the Hoffman and we really liked it. I like the cute videos that go along with it and my kids liked it as well. It's just something that we were really bad at making a regular routine about and something that in the next school year I want to get better at. Even if it's just like one day a week, I feel like just having some sort of routine when it comes to piano will be better than not doing it all or just having it in the back of my head. So I'm hoping to improve on that. So I have some big plans for art this year and I'm really excited about it. The first one is one that we have been using and we haven't finished is exploring the math yeah, Exploring the Math and Art from Blossom and Root. This is year one. We are going to finish this, and once we finish this, I'm going to get the year two, and we will be able to do that in our homeschool. Art. The Blossom and Root, I was kind of surprised to see that because I actually kind of forgot about the Blossom and Root. I really love the Blossom and Root art. It's great. It's something I'll probably pull out in the future and make sure that I have it someplace where I can see it and remember it. We ended up doing a lot of different things when it comes to art. We did a lot of art, so I don't feel bad about not getting it to it, but it was just something that we never got to in our school. We're also doing Layers of Learning, the Year One Art, and I wrote down what that has in it. It has lessons that, it's called the Art Beginnings. It has lessons of what is art, art supplies, art elements, principles of design, and then it also goes into ancient art and it goes like it's you know art from china greece rome ancient civilizations layers of learning we did use layers of learning we use layers of learning art along with our history as we studied history as far as like egypt we did asia we studied um what else do i have here cave paintings we did cave paintings so we did like hieroglyphics, murals, frontalism. We studied art and art history along with our history from Layers of Learning. And that is something that we really enjoyed. I found it was a really natural way to include that art into our homeschool and we loved it. That's something that we will continue doing. Is my daughter has shown a lot of interest in drawing lately. So I have flipped into OutSchool and there are some great drawing programs and classes on OutSchool. So I will be setting her up for an OutSchool class. And then next is OutSchool. OutSchool we didn't start until probably a few months ago, but we love OutSchool. My kids are doing a daily drawing class and the teacher is wonderful. It's on Zoom, there's a handful of kids in the class, they meet every single day, and it's very engaging. I've noticed that my kids' drawing has gotten better, they're learning techniques, and they're just having a lot of fun. That is something I highly recommend. I'll link it down below because it has been a wonderful addition to our homeschool overall. Um, let's see, what do we have? Oh, like online design, Etsy, Blender, video creation. 
My kids like to do a variety of different creative things kind of on their own time, whether it's making their own videos, whether it's working with computer programs, with designing art, whether it's designing graphics or doing stuff for an Etsy store. So I don't have that scheduled into our homeschool, but it's because, because it's something that they do on their own as their own interest, but, but it is something that we do in the realm of art. Musical theater. That was not on my list and my radar when it comes to last year, but it is something that has been one of our huge hits. And I think I forgot to mention it in my overall hit video. And I don't know how, just when you write things down, sometimes you forget things. But musical theater is, like I said, a huge hit. My kids were involved in Matilda Jr. that performed just at the end of May. They loved it. They didn't get tired of it, and the rehearsals for that were pretty intense. It was about a two, two and a half hour rehearsal every single week. And then leading up to the performance, they'd have rehearsals like three or four times a week, and they would be about five hours for that rehearsal. My kids absolutely loved it. I think they've really been bit by the theater bug. Over the summer, my daughter is going to do a two week camp. She's gonna be doing Alice in Wonderland, where she goes to camp from like nine to four every single day for two weeks and then they put on the performance so it's a real condensed intense version of musical theater but she's extremely excited for that and then coming in the fall that they'll be involved in the programs for this year so musical theater has been huge even after they put on their performance my kids came home they recorded all of the mu all of the music for the show and then acted it out and recorded it and then meshed it together so it, when it comes to creativity music and the arts you can't get better than that your kids doing something on their own that they love so it's been a huge win and i can't say enough about it and that's where i'm at i was art music it was really a wonderful year overall the two biggest hits have been the musical theater and doing the out school drawing classes those are definitely things that we're going to be continuing in the future and the history when it comes to the art history with layers of learning and incorporating that into history. I loved it. I feel like we had a successful year and we're really happy about it. Let me know down below what you use for art and music. I'd love to know because it's something that I'm passionate about even though it's not in our regular routine. I love it. I'd love to know what you're doing. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.